Thank you for watching this presentation. Building Information Modeling, or BIM, is having a dramatic impact on the construction industry and the practice of architecture worldwide. For the architect, it is promoting more efficient production of design and construction documentation, better analysis, and collaboration with the project team. For construction, it is contributing to a vastly improved procurement process and significant reduction in waste, risk, and project costs. The RIAI has determined that raising the understanding and uptake of BIM amongst the profession in Ireland is of such great importance that we have produced this short presentation to get the message out to all members to ensure architects are leading the development of BIM in Ireland. Members will receive half a structured CPD point for watching this presentation and submitting the corresponding survey. We are aiming to collect accurate statistics to assess the current understanding and needs of the members to determine how best to support and promote the general adoption of BIM. We thank you for taking the time to review this presentation and submitting the survey. Before we get into what BIM is, let's take a quick look at why this is so important. Obviously for architects today, the immediate problem is having the ability to compete for the few projects out there and being able to efficiently deliver these projects within tightly negotiated fees. But this is only part of a greater and overarching problem of waste in construction. Buildings cost too much to build, they cost too much to run, and there's a huge environmental cost, with buildings being responsible for about half the country's CO2 emissions. Everyone must realize that these big issues are related to process. There is no point in cutting fees, profit margins, or resources if there is no improvement in the process. The waste factor in the construction process is reported to be between 30 and 50% of the overall building cost which can be attributed to inefficiencies in the design process, inadequate interoperability of information, waste in the field due to coordination errors, wasted material, labor inefficiencies, and other problems in the current construction approach. Even on the poor predictions of around 10 billion euro construction output in Ireland over the next year, this still means our collective approach as an industry is possibly contributing to 3 billion euro in waste. But the problem doesn't stop at design and construction. Poor analysis and prediction of performance at design stage results in buildings that underperform and are costly to operate and maintain over their lifespan. To address the global economic and environmental issues, the construction industry must focus on reducing waste and increasing productivity at all levels to provide a more sustainable model of procurement. The adoption of BIM has been identified as being critical to drive the seamless exchange integration and management of project information to streamline the fragmented work process in the construction industry and achieve quantum improvements in turnaround time, quality and productivity. Architects need to embrace this process change and become part of the solution. In 2007, Stanford University carried out a study of 32 major projects outlining the benefits of using BIM, some of which are listed here. Better information and construction documentation promotes better collaboration during construction and reduces construction costs. Better information promotes better design with more rigorous pre-construction analysis to accurately predict the performance of buildings, which in turn can have a profound effect on the operations and maintenance costs for building owners. Consider that for every euro spent on design, about 20 euros is spent on construction and 60 euros spent on the operation of the building. So while BIM can immediately improve the production of design and construction documentation for designers, the cumulative effects over a project's life cycle are far-reaching and the adoption of BIM allows architects to bring added value to the end-to-end -end design and construction process. Another reason to urgently embrace BIM is that our industry in Ireland has fallen behind. We simply haven't kept up with these developments in technology and procurement process over the last five to ten years. And consequently, we are at a competitive disadvantage in the global market. BIM is not something new. It has been developing for over 20 years, but has really come into its own in the last five years. The global trend to working in BIM is clearly evident in the latest McGraw-Hill construction market surveys, which shows a 50% adoption rate in North America and 36% adoption in mainstream Europe. 
Of particular interest is the significant increase in the adoption amongst owners and contractors who are really beginning to understand the benefits of BIM for construction and building operations. Around the world, many clients, government bodies and design build contractors are now insisting on BIM for new projects. Last October, Paul Morrell, the Chief Construction Advisor to the UK Government, announced that large publicly procured projects in the UK will be required to adopt BIM. Our industry may be behind, but the opportunity here is that we can benefit from the lessons learned by others, adapt and catch up very quickly. Architects have an opportunity to take a lead role in the development of BIM in Ireland. But to do this, we have to reach consensus quickly and make a concerted effort. If we are not leading, we will be forced to take on BIM under terms set by others, or worse still, lose significant parts of our service to those willing to take it on. There are some definite challenges to overcome, particularly given our current state of affairs, but using these as an excuse not to change will only leave us further behind. As architects, we have the creative ability to find solutions to these challenges, and as a professional body, the RIAI has significant influence to get support to promote change. We need to embrace change, exercise our creative ability and influence to assert a new relevancy, not only to address our current economic situation and survival, but also to remain competitive in the global market. So what is building information modeling? There are many definitions, but here are a few key concepts that capture the essence. Firstly, it is a process, not a software package. It is a new way of doing things. It is not just another CAD application to draw lines on a page or some fancy 3D rendering tool to produce impressive images. The process involves the production of reliable and coordinated construction documentation from a data-rich virtual model of a project. A key point is that all the design decisions are recorded in a single database of information that is carried forward through all stages of the project. In fact, while the 3D aspects of BIM are appealing and impressive, it's actually the information or data element of the process that is far more beneficial in the long term, providing the ability for all project team members to access the same database of vital information at all stages. It is the I in BIM that is going to drive project procurement in the future. The BIM process directly addresses the inadequacies of our current systems for the production of documentation where large teams of people produce multiple independent 2D drawings and documents in a variety of software packages. The lack of coordination or communication between these documents, and the people for that matter, requires excessive labor in checking, rechecking, cross-referencing, editing, and managing design changes. This is particularly frustrating on larger projects, where the traditional process is prone to human error and exposes everyone to costly mistakes. The concept of BIM is that all the information required for a building project is intelligently generated and managed within a single data-rich virtual model of a project. All the outputs required are automatically generated from this single source of information, ensuring reliable and coordinated documentation. A key benefit is that any change anywhere in the building is automatically replicated everywhere in all the documentation. The additional benefits include the ability to explore and communicate the design in 3D, being able to provide rendered images, shadow studies, animated walkthroughs, and automatically extract valuable analytical design data such as areas, volumes, and material quantities at any stage of the project. This communicates a much clearer understanding of the project to clients, consultants, and contractors for better decision making and collaboration. By embracing new technology such as BIM, we replace traditional cumbersome working practices for a model that performs far more efficiently, delivers more valuable information, and most importantly, significantly cuts costs and liability. While individual designers are achieving significant productivity gains to the internal process through the implementation of BIM, the logical extension of this concept is towards integrated project delivery, or IPD, where the same BIM project information is used by all project stakeholders throughout the process for design, analysis, construction, and even facilities management. This is where BIM and the industry are going, and the benefits of fully coordinated collaboration between all parties 
is already being recognized by clients and contractors worldwide who are now driving the agenda for integrated project delivery. While IPD is going to challenge and profoundly affect all our current procedures and agreements, BIM offers many exciting prospects of easily resolving coordination issues between all members of the supply chain, leading to a more efficient end-to-end -end process with innovative project procurement routes. Implementing BIM on projects will improve the quality of design and construction documentation, facilitate earlier decision-making, promote better pre-construction coordination and on-site construction planning. Overall, BIM promises to greatly reduce project risks, waste and cost. So far this all sounds good, but you may be thinking that this is irrelevant right now as we are struggling to survive the current economic recession. The truth is that BIM can help address the many conflicting pressures in the construction industry. On the one hand, we are faced with reduced fees, fewer staff and tighter profit margins. While on the other hand, there is more legislation and regulation, design requirements and higher expectations, new contracts and more responsibility. The only sustainable business model is to reduce costs by improving process. This is a far better alternative to reducing the level of skill or expertise or the quality of service. Also, being able to demonstrate a capability and skill in BIM will open up further opportunities for offering extended services or collaboration with other parties. Finding more cost-effective and highly efficient ways of producing good quality, reliable and fully coordinated design and construction documentation is key to our short-term survival, long-term profitability and competitiveness in a global market. We need a dramatic change in the way we do things, and the implementation of BIM is at the center of this change. No doubt, the key issue on everybody's mind is the cost of implementing BIM, and there is a perception that BIM will cost more. Certainly it will cost something, but the issue is not the cost of the software, hardware, or training. The issue is the cost of human labor. Software and hardware are just tools of the trade, and calculated over a five-year period or the average lifespan of a computer. Together will only cost up to about 15 euro per working day, depending on which tools you use. The cost of human labor on the other hand, whether drawing a salary for yourself or paying someone a salary, including your overhead costs such as rent, utilities and insurance, could be between 200 and 350 euro per working day, based on a salary of 35,000 to 65,000 euro. So the cost of the tools of the trade are less than 10% of the human labor cost. As you assess the various BIM software tools that are available, you need to consider whether these tools will allow your people to be more productive, and if the efficiencies offered by these tools allow more chargeable work to be produced within the same time by the same people, then the investment pays for itself, and consequently BIM doesn't cost more, it costs less. This is very relevant to the small practice that has probably downsized over the last few years and who needs to achieve far more with fewer resources. If you understand how small a percentage the cost of BIM tools are to your overall cost base, then you can assess and choose the tools that best suit your particular needs and not have to base your decision on price alone. The RIAI have established a dedicated practice committee to investigate the benefits of building information modeling and explore ideas for its general advancement to help our profession take a leading role in the development of BIM in Ireland, and also to help architects gain the advantage of working in this way. We appreciate that the successful implementation of BIM may require specialized training, purchase of software, and possibly upgrading of hardware. As a professional body, the RIAR has a collective influence to try and get support from government and industry to help promote the general adoption of BIM in our profession and reduce the individual burden. But to do this successfully, we need an accurate understanding of the level of commitment and the particular needs of the members. This is why we are asking every member to embrace this message and respond to a short survey. As promised, any member who reviews this presentation and returns the completed survey will receive half a structured CPD point. We encourage architects to work together with the Practice Committee for BIM who are currently collecting and collating useful information that will find its way to members through articles, information papers and the RIAI website to continue to raise the general level of understanding in our profession. If anyone has any queries, comments or anything to contribute, please feel free to contact me.